Many business owners around the Center Point block have told us the project has caused them plenty of frustration over the years. They say the empty hole in that block has driven customers away. So, what do they think about the new developments today? Monique Blair continues our top story team coverage. I would compare it to Bourbon Street on weekends, even through the week. A block of land that once provided delight for many people in Lexington now only provides memories. We had a lot of culture to downtown as far as uh, some of the retail that was there and um, entertainment. In 2008, nearly one block of historic buildings were demolished to make way for what was then supposed to be a skyscraper. I mean, we were looking forward to development or, you know, something. Uh, but it never happened. Regardless of what they wanted to see become of Center Point, once it was finished, the people who work and own businesses right here in this area tell me they just want to see it become something. A anything, you know, anything other than that. McCarthy's Irish bar owner, Peter Kiley, says ever since 2008, his business has experienced a 25 to 30 percent decrease. We're lucky, we we've survived. Um, a lot of places. Not even, in, not even in Center Point, around have closed. We've seen them come and go. For others who work near the site of Center Point, the latest news didn't come as a surprise. As a taxpayer, I'm sure as many people in, in Lexington, I'm upset about it. Just the waste, the waste is, is just, it's waste all the way around. Kylie says for now, he is still holding on to hope. I mean, it's, it's look at it, it's the perfect spot for, for business, you know. It's the heart of the city, you couldn't look for any more. In Lexington, Monique Blair, WKYT. So here's a look back at some of the key events in Center Point. Demolition of the buildings on that block began in 2008. Grass was planted in the block the following year, and in 2010, the block was used for events connected to the World Equestrian Games. Blasting began at the site in 2014 to begin a planned parking garage underground. Last April, the city demanded the developer at that time, Dudley Webb, fill in the site. A compromise was later worked out, and in August, new investors took over that project. But today, they announced they're backing out.